Hi guys, I've got uh, Miss Piggy or Mr. Piggy cooking in the uh, oven. Uh, got a good size uh, ham. Uh, it says to uh, heat up to 160, but I don't have a meat thermometer, so I just put it in there for about an hour and a half at uh, 325, as they suggest. And it says put a cup of water in it, so I put a cup of water. Not sure why, but uh, maybe for moisture. I don't know. I don't think I've ever put a cup of water in there. But uh, that's what uh, is going on right now. <clears throat> Cooking that thing, and uh, I'll get to eat that thing later. And I want to uh, take you out to the living room and show you the flow through of all the moisture that came up and that's been holding in there uh, worms and the isopods have come up and are sitting up on top of it so as you can see there's an isopod there so look over here there's all sorts of worms I don't remember what this black stuff is I don't remember putting that in hmm few isopods there. Can you see there's, yeah, there's a couple worms over on the side of the container. Have a look around. There's a worm right there. Here, there's some isopods over in that direction. There were a bunch on this branch here that were sitting the other day, but they've all moved out. They're all scrounging around. I don't know what this black stuff is. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to think about that. Maybe it's just castings that they've made it that quick but uh, I don't remember that being there you know a couple of days ago when I looked in here but yeah there's uh, quite a bit of activity that guy's moving <coughs> and I don't want to disturb them too much in here but I wanted to give you guys a look of what's going on. I'll have to remember what this black stuff is. If it's just castings? I don't know. They can't make that, you know, castings that quick. Unless I dump something in here. So that's a look at what's going on in the living room here in the uh, flow through. Just after 2 in the morning, and uh, I'm going to take the ham out of the oven. Should be done by now. I've been watching CJ's latest vlog with uh, our Google Hangout the other night. And he's uh, making pizza del deliveries right now. So let me go grab the ham out of the oven, and I'll give you a look at that. Looks like a ham, but nothing else is going on tonight. So... The ham looks like it's pretty well done. I don't know if it's still warm. Yeah, it's still warm. I just put out, pulled it out of the oven. So, doesn't look too bad. I'll slice some off here and uh, have a little snack, uh, you know, in the middle of the night. So there's quite a bit of fat on this. I didn't think it was that much, but uh, I was cutting it back. Tastes alright. Tastes like it's done. I didn't even cut that much off of it. I just been cutting some of the skin and the fat. And uh, tasted, tasted some of the meat at least. So yeah. That will be my dinner for the next uh, couple weeks. 
So I've been listening the past hour and a half to the incident happening down there in Alma School in Montecito, or around that area. Um, they've been talking about burglar alarms in buildings. Uh, Mesa Air was up, then they ran out of fuel, and uh, DPS Ranger 58 is uh, above scene now. And wherever this house is, some other houses involved. I, I don't know. I think it's more than one scene happening down there, and the news isn't reporting it yet because they were talking about these burglar alarms for a while, and um, they're talking about some guy threw out a a rifle outside of the house in the bushes, and then was underneath the carport, went back in the house, and came back out and grabbed the rifle. Went back in the house, so who knows? It's still going on. I just was watching the news now when they had the coverage, and they're assembling a SWAT team, which the SWAT team's been on scene for a while now. And they've got the, the bear unit, which is the armored vehicle. Um, and Bearcat's coming back now, they're saying. Um, They've been using the, the armored vehicle for protection as they're uh, checking out houses and evacuating people um, out of the area. Well, they were saying something about turning the scene over to DPS and FBI. So I don't know which scene it is because they're still working uh, this one. As far as I know, I'm waiting for the news to give an update of what's going on. But... Um, uh, it seems strange maybe they're taking control over the scene which would make sense um, I guess there were two shooters and they were shooting at the um, helicopter as it was flying over from what it sounded like and not the units on the ground I'm not too sure but uh, from what the recordings were they were showing on the news that uh, the helicopter was getting shot at and they could see, you know, two units. Listening to the units on scene, uh, I guess a round just went over over the uh, heads at the uh, command vehicle. So uh, they're the units, have a call, 850 so they're checking the f nearby fields to make sure there's not a third shooter uh, shooting off rounds at them now. They thought uh, they did check the fields, but. Maybe someone else snuck out there or something. So, I'll keep you guys updated uh, on what's going on. Well, my internet went down. But I saw in the news that they did get two subjects in custody. So, thanks for watching today. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed what little bit there was. You know, at least you got to see the flow through and uh, got to hear a little bit of what... Be behind the scenes were of the uh, shooting in uh, Phoenix.